All right, so most of you guys know my backstory, went to prison, all that blah, 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 right? So 2013, we're chilling on the block. It's uh, it's block out. So basically that means there's no yard, right? So they let us come out on the block, play cards, get on the phone, stuff like that, right? It's normal jail stuff. So uh, they call halftime, which basically means halfway through block out, they give you a chance to go in your cell, get anything you need, get a drink, whatever, smoke, all that, right? So uh, we're sitting there, and uh, at the jail I was at, they had ice machines. So we're standing in line waiting for ice because I'm going to get some ice and go put it in my cell and then come back out. And uh, this dude walks up, just cuts everybody in the ice line, right? Well, the, the dude that's first looks at him. He's like, bro, like, you better back the fuck up. Dude's, dude that cut everybody made like 5'1". Got a little man complex. You know, the type of Gerald Hayes type. He, uh... He literally stares him in his face. He's like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I do what I want around here. Dude's like, oh, for real? He said, all right, say no more. I got you. He's like, all right, bet, bet. So uh, dude goes up to his cell. Dude follows him. Dude knocks on his door. Dude pops the gate open. This, this man threw one punch through this door. And knocked this kid out, right? So we're all cracking the fuck up. Like, oh, shit. He just punched the shit out of him. Then uh, he pulls a laundry bag out of his back pocket. Like, the fuck, what, he about to steal all this shit? So, um, he pulls the dude onto the tier, stuffs him in a laundry bag, throws the laundry bag over his shoulder, and walks back to his cell. Right? So we're like, yo, like, what the, what is going on right now? Like, bro, he, did he really just, like, kidnap dude? Like, bro, we're in a locked prison. Like, you can't just steal somebody? Like, the fuck are you doing? So, uh, he slams the door shut. COs are all yelling. He immediately puts newspapers up over his window so you can't see in. And uh, in most Pennsylvania prisons, if you have the door barricaded like that, they won't open the door because you can have a weapon and try to attack the cops and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into specific detail of what happened in this cell because I wasn't in the cell, okay? We only know what was told to us. But the one thing that I do know was the dude that got put in the laundry bag literally was violated in a way that I would wish upon nobody in the world. I don't wish anybody getting violated, but this was like some savage ass shit. And uh, this dude had a five to 10 year sentence. He, he was held hostage in the cell for like seven and a half, eight hours. The next day, they were both transferred out of the jail. The following day, dude was released from prison. That don't happen out here. And this is something that, you know, gets pushed under the rug and shit like that. But people that were on the block with me, they know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. They know exactly what I mean. And uh, it was just literally like, but if I would have put this on TikTok, they would have banned me so fast. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But just know that this man had a 5 to 10 year sentence and got done so bad. And the CEOs were so liable for that situation that they literally didn't even make him finish his sentence, man.